I just gave ChatGPT full access to my home to write and execute code towards my smart devices. And before I show you how I achieved this, you need to make up your mind about something. Take the blue pill, story ends. You take the red pill, you stay in Wonderland, and I show you how deep the rabbit hole goes. Ever since ChatGPT, I feel like the other home assistants has become so stupid. And I think the only way forward is to just throw them out and then invite ChatGPT into our home. OpenAI just added a plugin called Function Calling, which allows you to execute code from ChatGPT. You teach it about different functions that do different stuff, and you teach it how to call them and with what parameters. The blue pill represents the safe way, endorsed by OpenAI with Function Calling. The red pill, however, will make ChatGPT as powerful as possible, but if we lose control of AI, your life is definitely at risk. <laughs> You'll find out later which pill I took. Now let's get started. So I think the only way forward is to invite ChatGPT into our home, add a voice interface in front of it, and then just give it access to control our devices either via the blue pill, the function calling from OpenAI, or we try another way where we just ask it for code and we just execute it. Dangerous, but quite exciting. The absolute easiest way to get voice recognition is just to use a browser. There is a JavaScript API that can do that. Let's put the voice recognition in a text box so that we can read it and maybe correct it if there's something wrong before we submit it to ChatGPT. Then we just send that prompt to ChatGPT via the API and then we'll get a response. When we have the response, we just make sure there's no fluff before and after the code and then we execute the code. Now let's try out a prompt like this. Every second change my background color and set that same color to all my LifeX lights. I think this exact prompt drives home my point of this video. With ChatGPT, you can be creative. You don't have to know right now all of the prompts that you'll want to make towards your home. You can just like combine different devices. You can say, if time of day is this, if time of day is that, and just try them out in the future. It's more dynamic than have to, having to do the function calling or using Google Assistant or something like that. ChatGPT can just try to write some code and Maybe it will work, maybe it won't, but that's where, where the prompt engineering comes in. So I'll link some code in the description and I'll show you the base prompt that I use, that I prefixed all my prompts with, in order to get ChatGPT to understand the context of automating my home better. What the heck, why is the vacuum starting? Could not reach the target. Could not reach the target.